CapeCast. Folks, we got a chance to join a river otter road trip to the woodlands of Lakeland, Massachusetts this week to see a special furry patient return to the wild. But before we see what happened at the release, here's a look at how it all began. Last June, a baby otter was taken to Cape Wildlife Center in Barnstable. She was found helpless in Chatham, and experts surmised that her mother had likely been killed. Wildlife rehabilitators at the center spent countless hours feeding the otter and teaching her natural behaviors so she could be confident in her hunting abilities and develop a natural fear of humans. Now that she's grown, it was time to let her free. We just released our otter patient that we've had with us since she was two months old last June and she's grown into a healthy, happy adult and we've got this beautiful location that we've set her free and based on the way she's reacting, she's going to do just great. She's, she's immediately at home, she's building snow tunnels, she's swimming, she's checking out her surroundings. It's very exciting and very rewarding. This is our uh, first otter patient that we've successfully rehabbed and it's, I'm, I'm really proud of the team and I'm so excited to be here. I spent quite a lot of time with her actually. She was my triage case when she came in. She's grown exponentially since we've gotten her. Just watching her go was awesome. It's, you can't even describe the feeling in words, like just watching her go out and explore her new territory. You learn how to kind of step back from it as well so that you don't get so attached that you get really emotional watching her go. Um, but I think that you do get attached in a sense. But I like her out here. I like the way she's acting out here. And so it makes it worth it. It makes all that hard work totally worth it. 